For many companies, the most important part of great customer service is processing product returns quickly and efficiently. Let's take a look at how SupportSync lets you do this. In this video, we'll create a return for a fictitious customer. We'll explain the basic options available on returns and view the notification email sent to the customer when a return is created. To get started, click the new Quick Return button and enter the customer info. For this process, it's important to note that SupportSync has address validation built in, so you should use a valid shipping address, otherwise you may see an error. Also, you should use one of your own email addresses for the customer, so you'll receive the notification email. Now let's look at the return info section. Return reasons allow you to classify your product returns and are fully customizable. Three return reasons are defined by default. There are five different return types, each with its own process flow. A standard return is a two-way transaction where a product is received and shipped. Ship-only and receive-only return types are one-way transactions. An example of a ship-only return would be replacing a product that was lost or damaged. A receive-only return could occur when a customer returns an evaluation unit. You can select which return types to use for each of your brands. Shipping methods provide a way to associate a descriptive title to a particular carrier and service. By default, one is defined for you. You can define additional shipping methods and choose which users have access to them. For instance, you may want to define an expedited shipping method and only allow managers to choose it. The Advanced Replacement option lets you change the flow of a standard return so that the replacement product ships in advance before the original product is sent back. This is also known as cross-shipping. The Prepaid Label option lets you pay for return shipping by sending a shipping label to your customer. The prepaid label can be sent by email or printed. Now choose the product. By default, there are two products defined. You can change the name and description of these and add more products under settings. The action allows you to request that the product be replaced or repaired. Items requested lets you keep track of parts or accessories that are requested by the customer. There are two parts defined by default. These can be changed and more items added under settings. Lastly, we have fields for the product serial number, as well as a notes field to keep track of any special instructions for the return team. Click Save to create the return. Now we can see the main return page. Note the status of the return is receiving or waiting to be received at your return center. Let's take a look at the email that the customer received. The subject of the email, along with all the text, is fully customizable. You can define your own email templates with information specific to your company's return policy and even send different templates depending on which product is being returned. Note that the default address label is included as a PDF that the customer can print out and affix to the package. The label includes a barcode that can be scanned when the package is received to easily find the associated return. That concludes creating your first product return. In the next video, we'll cover how to receive and process the return. Please send any questions to help at supportsync.com and thanks for watching.